Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install the Wasabi Banking Script. So first of all, you need to visit their website. I'll give you the link in description for the official website. After visiting through the link, you can see the homepage. Just click on Scripts section. Here you can see the all categories of the scripts for, for now, we are going to go going through the core UI series. Just click on the core UI series here. You can see the multiple core UI systems. So we are installing the banking script. Here is the complete banking script from Wasabi. Just click on it here. You can see the banking script with the full feature, multiple card systems, pen system, visibility cards, x-ray card, set system, account types, and ATEM card. Multiple features with printed documents in banking system. So first of all, if you are going through the buying page in order to make sure to log in with your CFX ID, after logging in with your CFX ID, click on Add to Cart, then continue where you can see. Add it into the cart, click on Proceed to Checkout. Wasabi Script Providers. Special coupon code for our customers. For the coupon code, you need to join our Discord server. I'll provide you the coupon code. In my Discord, after applying the coupon code, you will receive your key in your key master. Here you can see Wasabi Banking. With the Wasabi Bridge, you get both of them. Bridge is the dependency, and Wasabi Banking is your main script. First of all, you need to click on Download, Save it to your computer, then download the Wasabi Bridge, save it to your computer. That's it. Now, open the Wasabi Banking and Bridge, click here, and extract the bridge. Same goes to the banking, copy them, and paste it to your main server directory. Here you can see the both scripts are there, Wasabi Banking and Wasabi Bridge. Just rename it. Open the banking first here. You can see the multiple files. First of all, we need to open our Redmi section. Wasabi Banking provides some great features with sleek UI, so make sure to check out their scripts. Here you can see the documentation link. I'll provide you the link in the description. Here you can see. Here is the basic dependencies for the script. Make sure to follow this up. It supports ESX and Cubicore, both with Oxlib and Wasabi Bridge. After that, I wanted to go through the installation section. We are using the QB core, just opening this. Make sure to change some, some of the main critical things for the banking. Just copy it and go to your QB core server player .lua and search this. I am going to the cubic core player .lua where you can see below. This, you need to paste this line. I already pasted it here. You can see it's the same line after that. Minimize this for the items. You need to go to the item or Lua and add this item. I'll show you the ads. Also, if you are using the Ox inventory, you need to change the module. Also, I'll show you the module system. Also, you need to go to the Oximetry module item, dot, dot, and copy this modules. I'll show you here, you can see. I already pasted the module. It's the same thing that we need to paste for the banking. That's it. You don't need to change anything about that. And your Wasabi banking script is ready and compatible with Ox inventory. If you are using Ox one, if you're not using Ox One, just leave this step after that. Go to the configuration section. I will give you the full user case and installation procedures for the configuration. Let's open the Wasabi Banking. Go to the installation section. Here you can find the inventory images. Copy it, paste it to your designated inventory. As I am using Ox Inventory, I'll paste it at the images section. That's it, then go to the Ox Inventory. Also, it's support the automatic sesql injection. You don't need to add the ESCO. Also make sure to, if you are using Cubic Over, then use this. And if you are using OX Inventory, use this. In our case, we are using OX Inventory. I will just put this to my item.lua in OX Inventory. In your user case, you can choose between them. As you can see, I already pasted this. That's it. You don't need to change anything or add anything for the banking. We need to configure our banking. Just go to the game here. You can find the configuration config though. Dot Lua, so you can find all type of configuration. It supports various of languages. You don't need to worry about the language support. Then here's the check for update. Make it true. And if you are finding any issue, you can just make the debug or true. Then here, you can see the webhook. Just leave it true. The automatic data injector. It is the auto SQL injection system. Just make it true. And here's the transactions and Wasabi notification. If you are having the Wasabi notification, just make it true. As in my case, I don't have the Wasabi notification, so I'll just make it false. And one more thing, if you are using target system, just leave it true, enable card animation. You can change the card animation to vertical and horizon. 
and just leave it at default and target system. I am using the OEX target, just leave it to X. And with the inventory, same goes to the OEX inventory. And it's also automatically check the society account. If you are selected the accounts, it will automatically select this society account based on your job. Then go to the table systems. It depends upon our automatic check and also the accounts and columns. Also, also you can change the currency module. Max attempted pin for the card blockage and max card creation for three for player. And here is the card item. Here is a bank closer. If you are disable, if you are want to, if you want to disable the bank at the night hour, you can disable it easily. Same goes to the loan section. You can set the loan and also the preferences. Then go to the mag manager job. As I am just selected for the banker and police for the secondary one for checking this same go to the grid section. I change for myself. You can add your own grid system easily for the society account that automatically checked. Then go to the bank location. You can add anyone at anywhere as your need. So no issues for the locations. That's it. You don't need to change anything. It's automatically pre-configured for your basic framework systems. That's it. And now let's see how the banking script works in game. Well, hey guys here, you can see I am in game and here you can see the script is working properly. Here you can see I opened the Wasabi banking and the UI. You can see is properly opened and with proper slick UI and proper real-time update data. Also the SQL is automatically injected into the database without any issues. You can see the dashboard. You can see the my main account balance with statistics. You can see my previous transitions also. You can see the deposit withdrawal and transfer options. If we just deposit some money, you can see the notifications is also inbuilt. Same goes to the withdrawals. Also, you can transfer it using iBank and amount also transfer to saving account. It's also worked properly. You can change your iBank number. Here you can see the iBank was changed properly without any issue. Now we are going to manage our card that we need to create one card. I'll just express card pins should be one, two, three, four, and card is created. You can edit the card at any time. Also, you can active or deactivate the card easily. Here you can see the transactions. All transactions are here with proper data. Here you can see the account. Here is the shared account that I have. I can create one more if we want. You can see the shared account. I can deposit or transfer any from here. Same goes to the savings account. And you can also take the request for the loan. And you can see I requested a loan and I can, I get the money for that. I can also cancel the loan and decrease the here. You can see the dashboard. I can also now, I am going to transfer the money to our savings account. Here you can see I transferred the amount to a savings account. Here you can see also I can use my shared account for anyone. And I can also add new user. Of course, I don't have any players to add them for now. You can see also, I did some balance for the shared account here. You can see the car status and daily limit. Now I can show you the ATM system for this banking. Here you can see I have the card. I have two cards. One of them is my previous one and one is our latest one. I'll just use this one. Here you can see it's word deleted and it is activated. I'll just go for that. Put our password and here you can see the transaction histories and also the shared account deposit savings loans you can see anything from there and one more thing if you are a bank manager you can also manage your account here you can see i'll just type bank menu i need to take the job for the bank manager for now i have selected it for polish here you can see the bank menu you can directly add any player id to freeze their account or unfreeze their account same goes to the transaction. I'll show you. I'll just freeze the account here. You can see the account of age Fabu was freeze here. You can see your account. Bank account is freeze. I can just directly unfreeze that here. You can see it's unfreeze. Same goes to the bank. Transaction ID same. I'll just go this and here you can see all type of transactions. Their account details are their proper name of the account. You can also search that. Here you can see proper list working without any issue. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like the Wasabi Banking script. Make sure to subscribe our channel also. Well, the discount for the Wasabi script. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.